Good day guys, this is Jella for Agri TV and welcome again to another video. For today's video we are going to continue our island tour which was cut short last time. Last time we checked out our marketplace, our museum, our playground area. And for today we are going to continue from that and look at some of the other parts of the island. So sit back relax and let's continue the tour so we'll go there next um, right after we visit my beach the beach area has some um, an ice cream shop over here I placed the soft serve lamps here and the soft serve um, hats over here to make it look like a candy shop uh, 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 an ice cream shop, I should say. There's some popsicles over here as well. I got that from a friend who is currently on the southern hemisphere and to all the southern hemisphere people in here. It's winter there. I really love it. But I will eventually get to winter. Have to wait for like six months more. Or no, exactly four months, I think. So you can, if you guys want summer, you could visit the island, watch me on, catch me on Twitch, and um, I'll give you guys a dodo code so you could visit, you could hang out, play some games, some random games. And here we go, we have the surfboards over here, we could also party on the beach, if you're up to that. There's a small bar and um, music over here. There we go. There's also marimba if you don't like music and just want to create your own. Just chill. Chill and vibe. Uh, people are dancing. Right? We have a diner. If you want to relax in a diner, get some good food um, made for you. Just have to get a reservation of course. You can enter the diner and then there's waiters here and the diner is still a work in progress by the way um, I planned to create a diving area in my in my peninsula but I decided not to create a diving area there's a diner counter here so before my diner was up to here but because of the new update I removed all of them and this decided to make a cliff here so that people could dive off from there but my island already has eight inclines and I couldn't add anything more so I decided not to put um, a diving area there my sewing area was also here before so I decided to move that after I made the market area and I decided to put it right behind the able sisters although that's still a work in progress so the island is still not finished so if you guys are interested there will be future updates i'm still playing this game oh and then we just um, stumbled upon our concert area every saturday kk slider visits the island and if i have friends we also have our own concert here there was one time we i had eight people on the island and we were just rocking out while KK is there all by his lonesome I'm so sorry KK if you get hungry while watching the concert there's also some snacks and beverages over here there's also a small restroom over here although you cannot really see it because yeah restrooms should be discreet there's some sitting here we could sit eight people to watch the concert but if you have eight people watching there won't be anyone doing the concert so the most um people that we can have performing in the band is we have one on the keyboards two on the guitars one drummer one sax and one singer so how many is that hmm, i have to think so you can have two people like watching in the audience and six people rocking out here it's really nice really fun i have drive-in played right now but we could play any song but i really like drive-in
Driving is one of KK's secret songs so if you guys don't know once he visits your island you have to specifically choose and enter the name Driven for him to give you that song you can only get it from KK Slider and you have to spell it correctly with a capital D R I V I N and an apostrophe So that is the concert area here we have a small gaming area here um, I like to think of it as a casino there, there is some lots of cash over here and there's some I'd like to think of this as, as cards playing poker but doesn't look like it maybe I have to spice this place up more there's some pinball machines some slots darts an arcade machine and we have a spin the wheel here so usually when I have friends over before they leave or right after they arrive in the island they go here they spin the wheel get a color like for example green and then you could choose uh, the, you could pick up the green present and see what you get if there is two gifts here or uh, three gifts here like for example the blue one you can only choose one though so sometimes I have nook mouse tickets um, some gold nuggets there but usually it's just um, items that I have duplicates and I don't really need them and it's kind of rare some kind of antique items or cute items I just put it on presents and if people want it they could take it home Right here on the left, we have the dig site. And we have the big bra brachiosaurus here. And the dig site is kind of growing a lot of grass right now, but this is intentional. I, I kind of want weeds on my island because there's a Nook Miles Plus achievement that um, you need to sell weeds, which I would like to show to you really quickly right now. Really quickly, like um, this one, Greedy Weeder. So I still need um, around 300-240 weeds to sell so that I get this um, Nook Miles achievement. And as you can see, um, I've been playing this game from March 22nd. It's been a while and I really love this game. I've been streaming since I started playing the game so if you guys have been following me on my stream you would know the history of this island it it didn't look like this guys so to all of you guys out there who are still trying to figure out what to do with their with their island my advice is to just go for it start somewhere even though it's not perfect Eventually, it will all make sense and once you finish it, it might not be the final output still. Some, somewhere in the future, you will still decide, oh, I could still improve it more. And that's what's happening with my island right now. My island is a good example, so that's why I wanted to create this video for all of you guys. And yeah, I digress. Let's continue with the tour. We have my tent here. Um, I created a new account in my Nintendo Switch and created this tent just for this setup, my dig site. This is their headquarters. As you can see, I have gnomes here working for me. Not really for me, for bladders. That's what I would like. I would like to think they're digging fossils right now. Um, let's look at their headquarters here. What could be in their headquarters what could they be doing oh it's still gnomes still gnomes are trying to um dig and research on things there's someone here on the microscope and there's an amber over here someone on the safe there let's go out we have their boss their boss is the one here this guy over here the black gnome as you can see he's the only black gnome here and he's on top of everyone, just supervising everyone. He's the big boss. We have two here who just discovered a Triceratops head. Who is digging it currently. We have someone here on the toolbox. So we have a lot of tools here on the dig site. 
we have lots of garden rocks gnomes as well and some of the fossils as well are laid out here just in a random way we also have our stones here on the island where you can harvest stones and iron nuggets it took us two weeks of trial and error just to get the stones to line up here to spawn here so I'm really careful of not breaking one of them because if that happens then I have to restart over so I had to put a lot of I didn't use mannequins in manipulating them I was using my own items so I just had items littered all over the place I should have used a mannequin so if you guys are interested in how I did manipulate the stones to spawn here please do let me know in the comments I could make a video out of it but I think there's a lot of good contents out there telling you on how to do it but I could also create mine um, yep just let me know guys we have the dig site over here so the items are kind of um, placed randomly if you think but there is actually some logic into it um, you could stay here in this area and try to harvest this rock here and you don't need to dig holes around yourself just to keep you from getting pushed back and if you guys know what I'm talking about or don't know I'm also gonna create a, a new video for that on how to harvest this rocks um, proficiently we have all of the fossils here I'm storing them here so that I could just assess them at once like at the end of the week but I do constantly um, harvest my fossils dig up my fossils and just store them there and here here we stumbled upon my library also one of the recent additions in the in the island we have a small chill area here you could bring your books here you could also study over here there's a lot of desks um, there's also ventilation over here if you feel hot and as you can see there are some DIYs on the floor and why is that that is intentional my idea is that you go to, to the library read something and learn something and that's in the form of DIY so libraries are one of the main areas where my friends usually go to first if the shops are all packed they go to the library first and check whatever DIY is in there or they just leave some of the DIYs as well so right now um, I have gotten rid of the DIYs that are more common so I have the bamboo DIYs right here if someone wants them they could visit the island um, I don't really mind if they take all of them it's okay and that is it for the right side of the island what do you guys think it's getting kind of long now so I could um, make a part 2 for this video I really don't know yet but we will see um, I would like to uh, there's still a lot more things to show you guys I'll make a part 2 of this video and show you my village my campsite which I haven't shown you yet and my orchard my flower area my shell beach which is still a uh, work in progress uh, there's a lot more guys but so far this has been like too long I think it, you're already bored I'm guessing please do check me out on twitch my name is jello this is Seglu TV, and we have a small community in twitch I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys like the video please do let me know click that like button and subscribe to my channel I this is my um, first oh, actually second content for Animal Crossing but I would like to show you guys give you inspiration and also um, 
show a bit off of my island. I've been really working hard on it. It has been 830 hours so far. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. This is Jello for Egg TV saying thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.